and the sum length is 145 see this first 30 then 30 then 25 then 30 then 30 so total length is 145 height is 60 and width is 60 so first we will draw layout first we will mark 145 60 60 we'll draw box Now after this, when you see front view, there are two parts, part 1 and part 2. Now if you see part 1 and 2, in top view this part 2 is here and part 1 is here. So we will start with which part? Part 2 because that is nearer to observer. So first we will start with part 2, so that means first we will draw this T shape. So how much you have to leave from here? 60. So I will leave 60 from here. Then we have 25, then you leave 20, 20, right? So we have drawn part 1, sorry, we have drawn part 2, which is this part. Now if you see top view, in top view also there are two parts, that is part X, see this is part X and part Y. So now this part X is merging with part 2, see over here. So I can draw part X first. What I need to do, I need to extend this line. I will extend this line as well. Then I will mark again 20, 20. see part 1. Now if you see part 1, we have a radius 30, so we need to draw rhombus 60. Now that rhombus 60, we can't draw it over here, we need to draw it inside. So we have already gone inside by 20, so from here, we can draw rhombus 60. And we'll join this also. Now we'll draw a circle, that is radius 30. So we have diameter 60, rhombus 60. We'll draw longest diagonal. We we'll mark midpoint, midpoint, and from this point, we can join line, this to this and this to this. After that, this is point one. So from point one, we can draw this arc. This is point two. From two, we can draw this arc. And we can extend this. So this much will be done. Now the same circle is behind also, if you see top view they are given with 20. So what we need to do, from point 1 we need to go behind by 20. And from 2 also we need to go behind by 20. So we will mark 2 dash and 1 dash. Then we will take 1 to this radius and go behind by 20 and we will draw R. Got it? We will take this radius, 1 to this radius, go behind by 20 and draw R. Same way you take this radius, 2 to this radius, go behind by 20 and draw R. And after that we can draw tangent. So we have drawn this part in top view. Right? Now we need to draw inside circle. To draw inside circle, first we need to find out center. So we will take half of this which is 30, half of this which is 30. And we'll draw line. And we'll draw vertical line which is already drawn from here and here. Now from that point, from center, we can draw 15, 15 because we want to draw diameter 30. So from here we'll take 15 up, 15 down, 15 left, 15 right, and we'll draw longest. Again we'll draw longest diagonal, midpoint on these two sides, join from the opposite corner. So from this point we can join this part. From this corner we can join this part. 
from this point we can draw this arc and from this point we can draw this arc. Now we need to see the depth also. If you see it is diameter 30 and the depth of this is 20. So what we need to do? We need to find, we need to draw the, we need to show the depth of the hole. So for that, from this point, we will go behind by 20 because width is 20. See this, this width is 20, so that's why we are going behind by 20. We will take this radius and from here, we will draw it on this side. So we will get the depth of the hole. Got it? We take this radius, we will go behind by 20 and we will draw another arc. So that will show the depth of the circle. We can draw this line as well. So we are done with the front part. If you see this front part, what we can see in the main diagram, this we are done with the part 1. Now for part 2, we need to see top view. The same kind of circle is there in top view as well. So what we need to do, we need to repeat the same procedure. The radius is 30, same way, so we will take 60, 60, 60, 60, we will get a rhombus. Then again we will draw longest diagonal, we will mark midpoint, midpoint, join to this point. So from this point, we can draw this arc. Same way, from this point, let's say this is point number 3, this is point number 4. From 4, we can draw this arc. After that, from 4 will go down by how much? 20. Because if you see the main diagram, height is 20. So from here we'll go down by 20. We'll mark that, that point as 4 dash. We'll take this radius, go down by 20, again we'll draw. And then we'll draw tangent. See, it will be like this. Again we have to draw circle over here for this diameter. If you see diameter 30, so again you draw circle over here. What we need to do? We need to find out the center point. Then again you take 15, 15, 15, 15. Now this diagonal. So if you repeat the same procedure, you will get a circle over here. And in this also, you need to check for the depth. Over here also, you will see the depth. 